Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hawaiian Share Projects. In today's episode, we're going to be working on episode number five of the pocket knife build. We are going to be mainly focusing on the blade, as well as making sure everything fits together correctly the way that it's supposed to. We're going to be doing a lot of hand sanding, cleaning up these bevels, polishing the blade, as well as we're going to do some heat treatment. And then the uh, actual fitment of the blade or into the handle, make sure everything is prepped and ready to go for when we add on the scales in a later video. So if you guys want to see how I got to this point, make sure to stick around. So to start things off here, I'm going to be doing some hand sanding first. I'm using my DeWalt clamp here. Uh, I got a piece of wood underneath, just making sure I don't bend or break the blade on accident. I'm going to sand it from a 220 grit starting out all the way up to a 1500 grit. What I'm doing is just getting a nice polish on it, cleaning up the bevels that I created on the belt sander. Uh, that I worked on during our last video on the blade side and getting it just prepped for the heat treat. Here we are getting ready for the heat treat. We'll be quenching it first to harden it. What I do is I put it in this two inch square tubing and with the and then I put the tubing on the fire. That'll heat the tube up evenly and that way the blade inside heats evenly and I can monitor it and make sure I don't melt or burn any one part of the blade causing problems. And once it's up to a temperature above magne uh, magnetic, which is why I have the magnet here on my forge, I'm going to rub it across and then directly into the fire, and that'll help cool it down uh, rapidly and harden the blade. And I don't recommend using motor oil for this. Um, I don't know how toxic it is or even if it is, but I couldn't imagine it'd be good for you to be breathing in motor oil uh, smoke like that. But I use vegetable oil. I've heard that canola oil works. If anybody else knows more about that, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Now we are going to be working on the spring section that will lock the blade into place. What I did is I took the cross peen side of my hammer. I got the, the this piece of the handle nice and hot. And I struck down. That thinned out that one section as well as raised the locking section of that chunk of metal that I've cut off. And that will become the spring that locks the blade into place later on. Unfortunately, I did that part uh, off camera. I forgot to hit record. And so there was a quick demonstration for you guys. Now that our blade is cooled back off to the touch again, we're gonna go ahead and do some more hand sanding. And when it was in the fire getting hot for the quench, it did build up a little bit of scale on the top of it. And so all we're gonna be doing now is removing that scale, getting it back up to a polish before we go into the tempering process. That'll help me be able to keep an eye on the color of the blade when you're trying to temper a blade, you want it to get to a bit of a straw color, at least from my experience so far. This is only my second knife. If I'm doing this wrong, again, make sure somebody tells me down in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. And in order to temper it, I put it in my little toaster oven here that I got at a garage sale for about 20 bucks, and it works just fine. It does the job. It goes up to 450 degrees, as well as it has a timer for an hour. So at 450, I put this blade in there for two different cycles, an hour each, and it worked out great. Now we're, here we are as what we left off on the last video with the brass sections. We're going to piece everything together, make sure it all fits correctly the way that it's supposed to, and everything locks into place. And with that, we are prepped for scales. So for now, that's the end of this video. Stay classy. Party on. 